Now, um, looking at the uh, chemical structures of the next compound we're looking at is what? Examples of phospholipid. So in the exam, students were required to draw only one example of a phospholipid. All right. So I brought three examples. So from these three examples, you look at the structure and the one that is simplest to you, you learn how to draw it. Okay. So looking at this now, these are the examples of phospholipids that I brought. So we have the phosphatidylcholine, we have phosphatidylethanolamine, we have the phosphatidylserine. <clears throat> okay. So before we actually look at the structures, I want you guys to develop a mnemonics to remember the examples of phospholipid. So looking at these phospholipids, everything starts with what? Phosphatidyl. You get. Here too, we are having phosphatidyl. We're having phosphat phosphatidyl. You get. So if you want to develop mnemonics for something like this, you simply move to the next word. So here we are having choline, which is C. We are having what? Ethanolamine, which is what? E. Then we have what? Serine, which is S. So mnemonics, remember, examples of phospholipid is actually what? Ses. All right? Phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylethanolamine, phosphatidylserine. You get just like that, right? And by the side, I just brought small notes for where they are found. That's in case I have, you know, I actually have foreign students on this channel. So I don't really teach confined to exam question. I always teach extra because there can be some people who are coming for different things, you get. So, so looking at the structure of phosphatidylcholine, this is the structure of what? Phosphatidylcholine. Now, take the structure of what? Phosphatidylethanolamine. Now, if you look critical at these structures, try to spot out the differences. You know that game we used to play in nursery school where you are spotting differences between two pictures that look alike? That's what we are still doing here. So if you look at the differences, I'm trying to like spot out the differences. So that you can just learn how to draw one. I know that from that one, you can generate the structures of others. You get so looking at phosphatidylcholine, I can spot a difference here. Here there's an H. Here there's no H. Then spot the difference at this last compound. Can I see the last compounds are different? So that's just the two differences between what phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylethanolamine. As simple as easy as that. Then looking at the word phosphatidylserine, if you still combine, if you still compare the picture of this phosphatidyl serine and phosphatidyl choline. You spot the difference. There's H here, there's no H here. All right, let's move to the next. Looking at the compound, which is the last here, it is still the NH2, just like phosphatidyl ethanolamine. But here now, it has an added what compound here. Which phosphatidylcholine does not have, and phosphatidylethanolamine does not have. You get so that's just how uh, for me now. Probably I might just learn how to draw phosphatidylcholine only. Then know that if I want to draw phosphatidylethanolamine, something is added here, something is added here. If I want to draw phosphatidylserine, I just know that something is added here, something is added there. You get so that's just how you can go about it. All right, in drawing the structures of what examples of phospholipid.